from the legendary Black Widow to the world's most dangerous spider. Here are 14 of the deadliest spider bites. 14. Wolf Spider These arachnids were likened to wolves because it was believed they hunted the prey in a group, not unlike a wolf pack. They are known to be adept and agile hunters though, even known to pounce on the victim after chasing it down. They have to hunt because these creatures do not build webs. Around 125 species are found in the US, while Europe is home to 50. Now, If provoked, the spiders are known to bite and inject venom. The symptoms can include swelling, itching, and pain. There have been claims that the bites can produce necrotic or flesh-eating symptoms, but that evidence is deemed inconclusive. 13. Brown Widow This member of the Widow family is not as well known as its cousin the Black Widow, but it does share the familiar hourglass mark, even though it's orange and not red. They're thought to have emerged in South America, but can now be found around the world. Populations have been reported from the US to Japan to Madagascar to Australia. In most places, they're classified as an invasive species. Did you know the neurotoxic venom of these spiders is said to be twice as powerful as the black widows? But it's not overly aggressive and cannot inject as much venom per bite. In fact, the brown widow might be deadlier to their infamous relation. Brown widows are known to systematically eradicate and replace black widows from areas they inhabit. 12. Noble False Widow The arachnid is most often called this in the UK, otherwise the distinctive designation is typically dropped. In England, they're often considered that country's most venomous spider, but they didn't originate there. The creatures are native to the Canary Islands and Madeira, then allegedly spread to Europe and are thought to have arrived in England during the late 19th century. It's also been reported as far away as California and Chile. Thanks to their superficial resemblance to the Black Widow spider, these creatures became known as False Widows. While not as deadly as the more famous brethren, the bite can swell to the size of a tennis ball and result in debilitating pain emanating from that wound. While bite symptoms are allegedly similar to a wasp or bee sting, this spider's bite is alleged to result in cardiac arrest. 11. Six-Eyed Sand Spider Native to South African deserts, this creature buries itself in the sand, then pounces when unsuspecting prey wanders by. Related to the recluse spiders, it carries a nasty venom that is typical of the family. Because it has qualities that are both necrotic and hemolytic, the venom can damage the flesh and destroy blood vessels. In certain trials, it was evidenced to prove fatal to rabbits within five hours. So how does it affect humans? Well, the jury is actually still out on that one. Only two cases involving a bite from the six eye have ever been documented, and the critter was not positively identified as the culprit in either case. Still, if the rabbits are any indication, the six-eyed sand spider could be potentially deadly to us. 10. Red Widow Another member of the Widow family, this is a rare but highly venomous species. It's found primarily in the sand dunes of southern Florida and is identified by its vermilion red legs, a reason why it's also called the Red-Legged Widow. It's less than an inch long but carries the same deadly venom as other relatives in its family. Bite symptoms can start within three hours and include intense pain, vomiting, and hypertension. If left untreated, symptoms can last for at least five days. 9. Yellow Sack Spider Measuring only around 3 eighths of an inch long, their small size might fool you. The Yellow Sack Spider can deliver a nasty bite, and the venom contains a cytotoxin which can destroy cells. Symptoms can include redness, stinging pain, and the development of a blister or necrotizing lesion. They're not considered docile, with females attempting to bite while defending the eggs. Its bite is sometimes termed a less severe version than that of the brown recluse, with a wound that will heal more quickly. Its bite is sometimes described as a less severe version than that of the brown recluse, with a wound that will heal more quickly. They are a widespread species found from Canada to Australia. 8. Mouse Spider They belong to a genus that comprises 17 known species, 16 of which hail from Australia, while one has been found in Chile. The name is a reference to an archaic belief that the creatures 
dig burrows deep into the ground, not unlike mice. They can be medium to large critters, measuring up to some three centimeters. The large fangs can impart a strong venom that can be potentially deadly because it shares similarities with the venom of the Australian funnelweb spiders. As it happens though, these arachnids are not so aggressive and they will often deliver dry bites, that is, the victims receive no venom. 7. Redback This arachnid is a member of the widow spider genus, like many on a list, but this one is indigenous to Australia. They're found in a variety of habitats, including urban areas. The most serious bites come courtesy of the female redback, identified by the red stripe on its back, which inspires the name. The venom is potentially dangerous to humans, but the main symptoms are severe, persistent pain, which can last from several hours to days. Around 2,000 redback spider bites are reported each year, but no deaths have been reported since the 1950s, when redback anti-venom became available. 6. Northern Funnelweb Spider Another highly venomous arachnid that's native to Australia, and it goes by a couple of other names, including the Northern Rivers Funnel Web Spider. Now, these critters live mostly in trees and belong to an infra-order of spiders identified as maligomorphs. And those are heavy-bodied spiders that include tropical tarantulas and the Australian funnel-web spiders. This species is known for rearing up when threatened and bearing their venom-dripping fangs. The venom is considered to be among the most toxic within the family and can be potentially lethal to humans. Symptoms can manifest within 20 minutes and include nausea, vomiting, and altered states of consciousness. Did you know that many experts consider this to be among the world's deadliest spiders? And that's because they're larger than the Sydney funnelweb species and might be able to inject greater quantities of venom. 5. Brown Recluse They're sometimes called violin spiders or fiddlebacks thanks to the violin-shaped marking found on the head. This one is a relation to the Chilean recluse, but the brown variation is native to the U.S. and is considered one of the most venomous spiders in the country. While it's only about the size of a penny, these six-eyed spiders have venom with flesh-eating or necrotic qualities. In the vast majority of cases, the bites do not prove fatal, but if they do, then the bite can morph into a gangrenous open wound that takes months to heal. However, a bite from this spider is exceedingly rare and only two deaths have been attributed to it between 2004 and 2014. Four, black widow spider. Well known for their red hourglass markings on the abdomen and for the female's habit of occasionally consuming the male after mating, this is likely the most famous or infamous spider on a list. We've noted a couple of other widow species along the way and they can be found worldwide. The black widow though is endemic to North America and in some respects, the venom may not be as potent as their scary reputation. Not to say a bite from a black widow won't do you some damage. The neurotoxin is some 15 times stronger than that of rattlesnake venom. Symptoms can include nausea, muscle aches, and difficulty breathing. In certain cases, the bite can prove fatal, but that would be the exception and not the rule. 3. Sydney funnelweb spider. There are more than 40 different kinds of funnelweb spiders, and they're all found in Australia. The only places in Oz you likely won't find the critters are the Northern Territories and Western Australia, at least according to our sources. The best known of the lot is typically found within a 62 mile or 100 kilometer radius of Sydney and is also considered to be among the deadliest arachnids on Earth. The Sydney funnelweb spider is known to be especially aggressive toward humans, and while it does not carry the strongest venom, it is highly toxic toward humans and other primates, but does not seem to be so effective against the nervous systems of other mammals for some reason. Thanks to the large fangs, they can strike repeatedly and deliver a full load of venom each time. The arachnid's fangs cause a painful bite and the venom can produce symptoms including muscle spasms and swelling of the brain. In some cases, death has occurred within 15 minutes, but since an effective anti-venom was distributed in 1981, there have been no documented fatalities from the bites of these spiders. 2. Chilean Recluse Spider Now, a lot of sources consider this to be the most deadly of the recluse spiders. While it's identified with Chile, it's native to South America and can also be found in countries including Peru, 
Argentina, and Brazil. It's also known to have migrated to the U.S., Canada, and Australia, and they've even been identified in Helsinki. Obviously, this critter is getting around, and it is taking its lethal act on the road with it. Luckily, it's considered non-aggressive, and will only bite if pressed against the skin, like when you're putting on your clothes. Bites initially cause pain, but it can take seven hours for symptoms to manifest. The venom is typically necrotic or flesh-eating, as we've noted, and sometimes the skin ulcerations can be so severe that skin grafts are required. One, Brazilian wandering spider. So, what better selection for our number one choice than this critter? It is widely regarded as the world's deadliest spider, and with a six inch leg span, it certainly looks the part. Guinness, in fact, has titled it the world's most venomous spider. There are eight different species, and as you might expect, they originate mostly in Brazil and South America, with one species found in Central America. No matter where they wander, though, they are aggressive and dangerous creatures with a neurotoxin around 20 times more powerful than that of a black widow's. Symptoms can include excruciating pain, difficulty breathing, and eventual asphyxiation. As the name implies, they can wander quite a distance. They've even been found hitching rides in bunches of bananas. But thanks to an effective anti-venom, fatalities are rarely reported. 